in this discussion you can see how to store any type of files using binary data type field in case you missed previous video related combo box data type field please check link given in description going to python side in model here we will use a binary field like documents this is a field name then after equal to fields dot binary we have to use to store uh, any kind of files then after here we will use as a string attribute for the labeling purpose from zero aside documents right now uh, we will use only string attribute copy this field name going to xml side and you can see this is the form view and we will place one field name equal to documents and over so usually when you add any new field in existing model or any new model so you have to restart the python service then after you have to upgrade the module so once this module will upgrade and going to browser must have to refresh the page because it will retrieve the latest changes once you create you can see here binary field but here you can see uh, there is no any label because we just added outside of the group so right now we will add one group uh, what is the group and how to do beautification form view we will see in later videos but right now we will focus on only uh, binary field so you can see here I just changed in XML file so we must have to upgrade the module no need to restart the service but here I restart the service plus upgrade the module from CLI side you can also do from front end side go to apps and find that module and upgrade, the, upgrade that module and refresh the page so you can see here this is a string it's a label name this is the actual field so here in this pop-up view you have to choose any file here you can see there is two images and one PDF file so right now I'm selecting this book and I will save so here you can see uh, the book name is not visible but you can see this uh, label is like this icon is visible so whenever you see this icon it means uh, there is a one uh, file is there so when you click here you can directly download that file and you can just see the that file you can also add edit using this pencil icon save it but uh, here you can't see that file name so if you want to add specific file name after the after here after the icon here you have to do is you have to create one character field which will store the file name and that file name this field we need to add here field name equal to field name and then we start the service and upgrade the module and once this module will upgrade you can just refresh the page right now there is no any uh, anything here in this field but when you 
change the file you can see this is a download slash one dot jpg file is there but here it's not visible right now so you have to do is again go to pycharm and in this binary field you have to use one more attribute is file name equal to here you have to give a specific character field name like this one and that's it after you have to upgrade the module refresh the page after edit upload the new file like uh, this one so you can see it will automatically manage this file and once you save that file you can see here the file name also visible including when you hover here so uh, you can see the icon also change and once you will click here it will download that image you don't want to visible this one the best practice is you can just invisible use this attribute and upgrade the module once upgrade complete you can see here like it's invisible and language like it's it's pretty good showing in the form view so here if by mistakely or sometimes like user forgot to add that field name user can't see that file name so that is the main drawback here you can see i just removed from here and uh, restart the service and upgrade the module because i already changed in xml side in gui side and i will refresh the page you can see here the file name is not uh, invisible but uh, once you will like that field name and you can use also attribute invisible one and upgrade the module refresh the browser because we changed GUI side and you can see here file name appear so now uh, we will use some attributes from python and like uh, if like user want to add some tool tips same as in html you can use help attribute and data type support as a string and here you can add a string this is documents option once you will save this file and you need to only restart the service go to browser and before i will refresh you can see here uh, once i will hover here in document label you can't see anything now i will refresh the page and hover the here in document label you can see this is documents upload option one more attribute is uh, read only like once you will add true by default is false once you will add read only as a true so user can't edit that field from front end side no need to upgrade the module because we already added in python side only restart the service refresh the page and whenever you try to add it you can see here there is no any option to add it or something like upload option is not there so this is a read only based on your test cases you can add then after one more attribute is required you can save it restart the service and this attribute will help you somehow mandatory from front end side so user can't leave it as a blank refresh the page and once i will click in add it you can see also color will be changed from background you can see and i will not 
I'm just deleting this one here you can see right now it's blank no any data available and now I will try to sell so here you can see the pop-up message is also available and you can see the color also change I will select any file and after like Odoo will save this record one more command is default command default and here you have to pass binary file uh, any specific file you can also use and uh, here the main thing is you have to use that file that should be converted in best 64 format so right now we will skip this one and if you have doubt regarding default one you can just comment below will help you so now we will move to XML side like for all possible attributes we will use here also so uh, right now I'm just removing the attributes from Python side and we start the service one more time refresh the page you can see here the required color also change and now it's not required now here uh, you can also use the same attributes as well as what we applied in Python side here required equal to one here you have to remember is one means true and zero means false by default it's zero and uh, once you will use one then we must have to upgrade that module so here I am using minus u as upgrade and that model name here you can see the color also change the backend color refresh the page and edit I will just delete this file and trying to save you can see here this is a mandatory field again go to PyCharm and change required to read only read only upgrade the module because we changed in XML side refresh the page and when I will try to add it so user don't have option to change the file name so that is the use of read only one more attribute is invisible and it will helps to invisible like hide that field name including label name from GUI side you can see here this is a label name and this is actual file and once I will refresh the page it will hide so you can see here I can't see that field name so that's it for now in case you have any doubt please comment below and please don't forget to like and subscribe see you in next video